My name is Dan Richardson. Welcome to the Dan Richardson Show. Today we'll be talking about Harley Quinn, the animated series. So, Harley Quinn, the animated series, is about, well, you guessed it, Harley Quinn. Um, her, Poison Ivy, King Shark, and Clayface basically form a kind of ragtag group of villains who basically try to take control, or not really take control of Gotham, but try to basically be the best villains that they can be to sort of rule um, Gotham the best they can. And, yeah, this is basically a really hilarious show. It's also, um, you know, for more mature audiences, they swear, like, really a lot, uh, like, a lot, and there's multiple sort of sexual references and violence, like, the violence is, like, really, really graphic in this show, and, yeah, so it's not necessarily for the younger Harley Quinn fans, but it is, I think, definitely something you would like if you're an older Harley Quinn fan, or if you like Rick and Morty, which I, I kind of feel like this has a similar sort of humor too. Um, I do think that this show does lean into the graphicness of its violence maybe a little too much and like it definitely is a little too um, like vulgar for my, my my liking and and when I say vulgar I don't I don't just mean like swearing, I mean like how sexually explicit they go. Um, and, I mean, it, it is sort of advertised to be that way, so I'm not really complaining, but it, it is something that you can have an issue with. But I think what I like the most about this um about the show is actually the um, story. Um, this is probably the best sort of female empowerment story that I've personally ever seen. And sure, technically speaking, I don't really go out looking for it, but of the stuff that I've seen, this is probably the best. Um, you can tell that Harley Quinn struggles with being her own villain at first, and she has to slowly get into how that works. And I think that's what, honestly, really works about the show. Um, and, yeah, um, it's a fairly, I think, simple concept. You know, Harley Quinn uh, breaks up with the Joker and has to be her own villain, and I think that, yeah, while that absolutely does work as a concept, um, it definitely allows them to go further than I think most shows with its premise could go, but animation also probably helps that too, and this show is very self-aware, um, there are quite a few meta jokes, and I think my... Like, favorite episodes probably sort of point to me enjoying that more meta side to it. Um, uh, Like, the 10th episode of season 1 is my favorite, and that delves into Harley Quinn's backstory. Um, My favorite episode of of season 2 is Batman's Back, Man. Um, That show is... The episode is great. Um, It starts off with these two nerds, one of them wearing, like, a really Snyder Cut shirt, the other one wearing a Jedi is not canon, or a Last Jedi is not canon shirt, and, you know, they're talking about how, um, they don't necessarily enjoy Harley Quinn, you know, it's, it's all about her using her, like, Mary Sue powers or, you know, SJW powers to, to take on bad guys, and then they see that the new episode is all about Batman and his sort of comeback story, and, they're like, okay, fine, we'll watch it. But if it sucks, we're going to watch, like, 
DuckTales or something like that, or, you know, they, something like that. Um, and, or, is it Cake Boss? I don't know. They say something. And, um, yeah, like, the movie is, or that, that episode's hilarious because of how meta it gets. And my favorite episodes of the season are, you know, the last three, honestly. The last three, I think, paint a perfect finale to the whole show. And, yeah, I would totally recommend this show. Um, my least favorite episode is probably, uh, of just this particular season, of season three, is probably, um, it's called, um, a mole, a something else, and an orgy or something like that. It really wasn't good. It's the fourth episode of season three. Not really good. Also, The Line, which is in season one, also one of my least favorite episodes. But, yeah. Ultimately, this is a freaking hilarious show. And if you haven't seen it and you are a Harley Quinn fan, I do highly recommend you check it out because you're not going dis- to be disappointed. Like, honestly, you're not. Um, uh, Kelly, um, Kelly uh, Makoko or whatever her name is, you know, Penny from um, Big Bang Theory is a absolutely incredible Harley Quinn. Like, um, I talked about this in my, um, uh, in my Big Bang Theory review from all those years ago, but her and Bernadette were both Harley, uh, both acted as Harley Quinn at the time. Um, uh, Kaylee is much better than, uh, the actress who plays Bernadette. Much better. And, this show, I think, um, absolutely delivers on its promise to be a fun, violent show. And, yeah, um, Lake Bell, um, who plays Poison Ivy, is great. J.P. Smooth, who plays Frank, who has a really big role in Season 3 as Poison Ivy's, um, like, uh, plant friend who, like, gets stoned all the time, is great. Alan Tudyk as Clayface, and the Joker, freaking incredible. The guy who plays um, King Shark, freaking hilarious. He's probably my favorite character of this whole show, and if you like the Suicide Squad's depiction of King Shark, I think you'll like this. Um, this King Shark's a little bit smarter than that than that King Shark, but it works. Um, Dietrich Bader as Batman is um, great. He's bringing a lot what he uh, he's bringing a lot of what he did in Batman: Brave and the Bold, and just making him a bit more of a, a bit of a doofus, but it works. And, yeah, this whole show is absolutely incredible. And I would highly recommend you check it out. Um, season 3 is all available now, and we're going to get Season 4, and it'll be very interesting to see where they take Batgirl, because if you're upset about the Batgirl movie being canceled, Batgirl shows up in Season 2, and is a brilliantly written character. Um, Nightwing is in season three, and you know, they do a good job with Nightwing. But I think they do their best work be- between all the Bat family with um, Batgirl. And yeah, so um, like I said, recommended um, definitely for a mature audience. But remember, God may especially loves it very much. Please tell me what you thought of this show in the comments. And God bless.